It's how I speak, man. Welcome to our presentation on netiquette in the academic setting, also known as in our classroom. We have three characters joining us today. We have do, don't, and suggestion compromise. When posting in discussion forums, do write something with substance. Don't merely say, I agree, or welcome to the class, glad to meet you. If we are going to open your post, please make it worth our time. Some people are on slower machines, so opening your post is actually difficult. When sending emails, do be kind, say hi or hello as a greeting, sign your name and contact information if appropriate. Don't flame, be mean, bully, or otherwise send ill-meaning emails. Don't send spam. Be sincere, polite, helpful, and professional. Someone said something that got you angry? Urgh. Do. Wait a little while. Relax. Take a break before writing a reply. Write a reply. But don't send it. Don't write a highly emotional response and post or send it. Don't try to make the other person get angry. If you do write an email saying what Mr. Don't said, don't send it. You may keep it, but don't send it. Emoticons. Emoticons can be okay in an academic setting. Use them to suggest emotion. Use them in forum discussions and emails when appropriate. Don't rely on them to mollify anything you have actually said. If you said something mean, a smiley face will not soothe. Don't use them during serious academic writings. Be careful of ambiguous or insulting emoticons. Text speak. It is okay to use common text speak like LOL, TMI, BRB, OMG, or other very common phrases you would expect anybody who converses regularly with writing online or writing on the phone texting would know. Don't use obscure phrases that a 60-year-old won't know. If your best friend's grandmother would not know what you're saying, don't say it. Make sure that if you are writing in an academic space, you are using words your instructor will understand. In terms of subject matter, do write about academic appropriate topics. Stay on task with the topic. Don't write frivolous things that do not contribute positively to the conversation. Don't include topics such as 
negative comments about other people, your sex life, or actually anything dealing with sex, or offensive behaviors unless they directly relate to the topic. Thank you for watching and reading our presentation. I hope that our team players have made things clearer for you. Have a great day.